Hi there everybody, thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my latest trail camera purchase. This is the Moultrie i50 game camera. Um, it is early August here in Texas and it's a great time of year uh, to put out trail cameras and see what kind of deer we've got uh, horn wise. If you wait too long, once hunting season starts down here, the deer either get shot or they, they tend to be um, they tend to come out less often, so these trail cameras are great just to put out for uh, wildlife management or see what you've got um, coming to feeders or coming to your yard or whatever. As with all my videos, I just do unboxing videos in case there's somebody out there who's looking to order the same item and they want an idea of what's it going to look like when they get it in. So we'll take a look at the box first. I haven't used a Moultrie camera in years. I used one back in 2004, and honestly, it was an awesome camera. I, I wish I still had it. I think it was called the, um, I think it might have been called like the GameSpy 2.0. It ran on a six volt battery, um, and it wasn't infrared, it was a regular flash camera. So that's how long it's been since I've had a, a Moultrie camera. But that was a great camera for me, and um, I just haven't had a lease. Uh, since then and I've got a, a lease back so I went right back to the brand that I trusted and that was Moultrie and went with this purchase. Let me give you a view of the box real quick and then we'll open it up and take a look at what's inside. This is a 20 megapixel camera. Uh, runs on AA batteries. And it's pretty common. I bought it directly off of Moultrie's site but I know Amazon sells it. I think Walmart has them in stock. Um, so anyway there's a view of the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, Let me turn it this way right off the bat a strap in case you're looking to uh, mount it around a tree. I've got some of the Moultrie, um, the metal arms that you can twist into a tree. I'm, I'm planning on um, setting it up with that, but we'll see. Once I find a spot, it might be easier just to use the strap that it comes with. A Moultrie bumper sticker. That's kind of cool. I'll throw that on my uh, on my Yeti cooler. Do some free advertising for Moultrie. I'm one of those. I like it when companies give bumper stickers. For whatever reason, I always take them, throw them on my Yeti cooler, and and uh, I don't know why. It's just what I do. So the instruction book, which we might be having to reference. And finally, the camera itself. Yeah, this right here, they sell arms um, that uh, you can um, screw into a tree and then you can plug it into here. That's what I'm looking to utilize. And once we, once we, uh, once I get out there and we set it up, I'll show you that stuff. Wow, really cool. It's amazing these cameras. You know, it used to be a huge. I used to have a huge one that ran on a six volt battery. Uh, now they've gotten to where they're so tiny, and even the control part is is basically half of the camera. It does take an SD card. I'm gonna be throwing a 32 gigabyte card in this, and um, it has a a cartridge. Wow, it's in there pretty tight. Okay, there we go for your AA batteries. I believe this model, you have to run eight AA batteries. I'm gonna try four or I'll reference the instruction book. Uh, I know there's some camera manufacturers that let you run four or you can run eight to get twice the battery life. And I kinda like that feature, but if I'm not mistaken, I think Moultrie, you have to run eight batteries. So anyway, there's a quick look at the camera. I'm gonna get some batteries in it. We'll go through the setup and then we'll get it set up and see what kind of videos and pictures we get. 
just a couple of things before I get the camera turned on and look at some of the uh, setup options. I'm using eight AA batteries and I'm using Duracell. You have to use eight. Uh, there's not an option to use four batteries, so you will need eight AA batteries. Um, the instruction book recommends a name brand battery. It does say you can use lithium batteries. I don't use lithium and I'm, the reason I don't is because lithium batteries are always uh, going to be running high. They're always fully charged essentially. So when you're looking at your battery indicator, it's, it's hard to tell how much longer you've got battery life with lithium batteries. So I tend to just use regular uh, alkaline batteries. I am using Duracell. The other thing I wanted to let you know is that I'm using a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card and I'm using SanDisk. I, you always want to try and use a name brand memory card. And the other thing you want to look at is I'm using a class 10 uh, speed. You know, some of these cheaper memory cards are class two, four, six, and the higher the classification of the card, the faster it can be written to. And with things like game cameras where it's taking uh, action shots, the faster that memory card is, the better your pictures are going to come out to be. So um, don't, you know, don't mess up and buy a good game camera and use a crummy memory card because it might result in you getting blurry pictures. So anyway, just wanted to let you know what I'm using. SanDisk uh, 32 gigabyte class 10 SD card, and I'm using eight regular Duracell batteries. So let's get this put in and we'll look at the setup. Okay, so now I've got the batteries and I've got the memory card in. I was just going to go through some of the settings real quick for you. I'm not going to hit all of them because I don't want to bore you with this video. Uh, it's pretty easy. I, I did want to say that there's two different things. There's a quick start and there's a custom start. The, uh, the quick start option is if you just want to use the default settings given to you by the manufacturer by Moultrie. When you go into the quick start, the only option that you um, have is you can do a test picture and you can set your date and time. So if you want to change your date or time, you just click OK, and it'll take you through all the settings, the month, the day, the year, the, minute, uh, the hour, and the minutes, and then AM or PM. And um, that's really all you can do in Quick Start. If you don't do anything else, you're going to use whatever the default is for the camera. But if you want to change that, that's where you would go to Custom Start. And this camera has a lot of different options. Um, if you press the Up button, that's kind of how you cycle through all of these things. You've got system options, um, you've got memory options. All memory options is, is basically gives you the option to reset, uh, erase all the pictures on your memory card. Photo video options, um, info strip options, whether you want the info strip on the bottom or not. Motion and time lapse options, and then time lapse options. So this camera has two different modes. It's got a motion detection for if you're wanting to set it out and capture anything that walks in front of it. It's also got a time lapse option if you're wanting to put it on something that you're tracking um, the progress over time, something like maybe a food plot or a construction project or something like that. And then you've got the option to use both of them. You can do both uh, motion as well as the time lapse. But I'm just going to go through. A, I'll just go through a couple of these. I'm going to go through the system options just to show you. You know, you can update your firmware in here. You can reset it to factory. Um, I think that's really all you can do in system options. Oops, I don't want to put a security code on it. Photo video options, we'll go in here real quick. So this is where you can do things like your photo quality. Do you want it on two megapixels? Oops, you want it on two megapixel, four megapixel, eight megapixel, or 20 megapixel. Those are your different options. I'm one of those, let's do it. If you're gonna do it, let's do it right. We're gonna put it on 20 megapixel. And then uh, motion freeze. Do you want that on for a faster flash? Let's see, sorry. Or off for a max flash? Um, we'll leave it on. That's the default. Uh, your video quality. Do you want full HD, HD? And all of this stuff is going to come into play with how clear are your video's pictures, but it's also going to come into play with how much memory do you have on your memory card, how much space will these uh, files take. I've got a 32 gigabyte card, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm doing full HD. Um, how long do you want your videos? Uh, 10 seconds, go to 30 seconds, go to 60 seconds, so on. We'll do, uh, we'll do 10 seconds, actually. And then that's basically it. But it, it's kind of like a, any other trail camera. It's, it's um, pretty, op pretty easy as far as the settings. I'll go into the uh, info strip options just to show you. Sorry, just to show you that. 
yeah, basically you can change the camera name. The default is hashtag Moultrie Cam. And then you can say, do you want the info strip on or off? And change your temperature, stuff like that. But all of your settings are right there in the custom guide. There's no uh, monitor to view the images like some of these cameras have, which I kind of like. It keeps the camera small. In most of those cameras, the screen is so small that you can't even see the pictures on it. So I prefer a camera like this that you just pop out the memory card, put it on your computer, and see what you've got. So I've got all my settings set up. Let's get it put out and um, see what the quality looks like. Okay, so I made it out to the deer lease and I've got this uh, camera set up. What I used is I used a uh, trail camera arm. You can buy these. Moultrie makes them. Other brands make them. Basically, it's just a threaded end that goes into the game camera. And then you've got a threaded end that you just put into your tree. And you angle it at whatever your target is. And I'll show you the setup. I've actually got it a pretty good ways away from my feeder. It's probably 60 feet, something like that. Um, but that's what we've got set up. And I'm going to turn it on and we'll see if we capture any animals coming through.